Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Woonsocket. I want to thank the governor and his entire team for being here today at this important press conference to share some updated information regarding, regarding COVID-19 and the direction that the state is going in and the city of Woonsocket. I'm pleased to be able to continue working alongside the governor in this uh, very important uh, task of bringing health back to our state, back to our residents. As everyone knows, Woonsocket has been um, a bit challenged with uh, getting our percentage rate uh, to a point that we're comfortable with, and we are going to continue working uh, to achieve better numbers. I would like to also take a moment to thank our fire chief, Chief Paul Chatra, and our entire team of public safety officials who have been working probably the best clinics in the state of Rhode Island. I know I'm a little biased, uh, but this particular location has been running like a very well-oiled machine, and we have received nothing but compliments. Uh, what we are going to work to do is to get more folks through the door and vaccinated in order to keep people healthy and hopefully have a better 2022 than we did in our 2020 and 2021. But I can't uh, praise the governor and his team enough uh, for everything that they've done to assist us and the other 38 communities within Rhode Island. I also want to thank the town of North Smithfield, the town administrator, Paul Zwolenski, who you'll hear from next, uh, who's had his team of public safety officials working alongside ours uh, to accomplish what we've accomplished here at Monsignor Gattery. So uh, again, thank you for being here at this very important conference. And I'd like to now introduce Paul Zwolenski, the town administrator from North Smithfield. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to echo the mayor's comments about teamwork. I'd like to thank the city of Woonsocket, the fire department, their police department, the public works, EMA. The same for the town of North Smithfield. It was nice to see this collegial atmosphere develop and it's still going strong. I'm also very happy to say um, that the residents 65 years of age and older in North Smithfield 100% of them have received both vaccines. But we have miles and miles to go. If they choose to get a booster shot, it's available for them at this location. It's a great place, as the mayor was saying. Uh, I wouldn't call it a happy place, but you can see the, uh, the look on the folks that come here. They're very relieved to get these vaccines. So please, uh, residents of North Smithfield, Winsocket, please avail yourself of the boosters if you so, so wish. I'd also like to thank the governor. Um, there was a time when the state was floundering. The governor came aboard and he asked the communities to help out and communities did. So we're vaccinating people, we're keeping them healthy. I think spring is very promising. We should be past this crunch. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, challenging for the next week or two, but I think we can get it under control. 